Good morning and welcome to the video for Monday, May the 18th for third grade. So today we're going to be continuing this idea of working with different types of polygons. Today we're going to be working on triangles. And so again, this is going to be another example of something that we are going to use a lot next year about this time next year. So again, kind of the late April, early May time frame. Um, is usually when we would be talking about this type of thing. So the activity that they wanted us to do is something that we could do at school. You might be able to do this at home, but what I'm going to go ahead and suggest is that we maybe don't need to do the activity. And the reason why is the next page gives us so many different examples of ways that we could do things. And we can just kind of talk about some of these questions. So um, if we are going to compare the lengths of the sides, um, when we can make a triangle, it doesn't matter if all three straws are the same size because we can have different size straws and still be able to make a triangle. You can tell that by looking at some of the examples that are given on the next page. When we cannot make a triangle is when we have enough difference in the size of the straws that we can't get everything to connect. And so Let's say we were looking at a straw that's like, or a series of straws that are like this. We have one really long straw, we have a short straw, and we have a straw that's most of the length of the longest straw. If we had a shorter straw that was too short, um, we still might be able to connect it, but we may not end up at that point with an actual triangle. We may not be able to put it at the corner or form a corner with that, um, to where we actually have the right shape. And so when we're working with straws, they're going to be a fixed length. And so we would end up with a situation where we may not be able to make um, all three straws connect to be able to do something. So for number three, how we could change the straw pieces? Well, if we're using scissors, we could take the longer piece and kind of trim it up some so that we can make sure that we can get all three pieces to connect. Um, still using the shorter pieces. So that's kind of what they wanted us to explore with our hands. I don't have a way to really recreate the experimentation part of that. Um, I could give you examples, but we already have examples on our next page. So let's go ahead and look at these. So there are two different ways that we can talk about triangles and classify them. Um, so we can um, say what type of triangle we have based on whether or not we have equal side lengths and how many side lengths are equal. We can also describe them by the type of angles that we can see inside them. And so we're gonna talk about uh, both of these. So to start with, if you need to pause the video to go ahead and work on this on your own, please feel free to do so. Um, otherwise, just hang tight. I'm going to talk through these. So we do have some examples where we have no sides that are equal length. And so um, one of those examples uh, technically should be this, <laughs> uh, but we'll talk about the way right triangles work uh, some other time. Uh, technically, there should be a difference between the lengths of these if we have a true right angle here, uh, whether it's labeled or not. But um, both C and D are not going to have uh, equal length sides for any side. Um, later on, we'll talk about why um, uh, this one will not have equal length sides. And there's a special formula that we use to find the length of this side when it's not given. And that's something you will get to do a whole lot of um, as you go through your um school years uh, working with geometry. Uh, so uh, two sides of equal length. Um, for the purposes of this exercise, uh, we are going to say that this would be letter B and letter E. Again, with that caveat that if this were supposed to be a right angle, that actually would not uh, technically be true um, all the time. Uh, for letter A being the only thing that's left, um, there is a way that we can have a triangle where all three sides are the same length. And so now we want to take a look at our angles. So one angle and only one angle inside a triangle can be a right angle. And I'll kind of mention this while we're going through things. 
Um, but there is a limit to the amount of space um, or the, the um, uh, numerical amount of each angle inside a triangle. So inside a triangle, the measurement of all of our angles have to equal 180. So if I have a 90 degree angle and I had a second 90 degree angle, I would either no longer have a triangle, which we'll show an example of that later, um, or we wouldn't have, we would have an angle measurement of zero for the last angle. So one and only one angle can be a right angle in a triangle. Um, for the same reason, uh, only one angle in a triangle can be greater than a right angle. That would match with letter C. And then um, we do have examples of triangles where all three angles are less than a right angle. If all of those three angles were of the same measurement, then it would be one third the size of 180, and that would come out to 60 degrees. And we will use that information next year. Uh, number one, write the number of sides of equal length that the triangle appears to have. Um, the way I'm looking at it, it looks like both of these are of the same length, and this one is shorter. Um, so I would go ahead and suggest that that would be two. Uh, for number two through four, um, we are going to say which one has which. So triangle F is going to have one right angle. Uh, triangle H is going to have an angle that is greater than a right angle. And triangle G would have three angles that are less than a right angle. And we can guess if it has three sides of the same length that the angle measurement would be the same. Uh, this one looks like it does not have three equal side lengths, so we would have different measurements um, inside there, depending on how it's drawn. Number five, um, triangle M has one right angle and appears to have sides of equal length. And so the sides of equal length, um, hmm. I am going to say zero. And the reason I'm going to say zero is again, this idea of what we will work with later. Um, if we have a right triangle, it is possible to have sides of the same length. These two might be. So I'm gonna put a either zero or two um, I can't really tell. This could be the same length. Um, but again, when we're working with this idea of solving for this side, it's usually going to be an issue where they do not have the same length. Um, so this side uh, triangle has angles uh, less than a right angle. And so that would be letter K. And we could say that those are all the same length. Now, one thing that would help me is if uh, this was sticking up instead of sticking down. Um, it would be easier for me to tell, but for some reason when I when I'm looking down at something like this, I have a harder time telling whether the same length or not, even if I turn my head. Um, and then that means we have triangle L left over, and we have zero sides of equal length. Um, so for the homework. Again, we're just kind of using uh, the same idea that we've been working with. For number four, just make sure like we're looking at this part of the shape. We're not worried about this extra little representation. So don't worry about that part. Um, again, we're just looking at the front of the shape. Uh, for number five, again, we are, this is just a representation of using like popsicle sticks. Um, and so the triangle that we are looking for for the purposes of measuring this is the inside portion here. Uh, number six is a drawing. So I will uh, probably in Google, uh, the Google form give examples and then I will have you select which example or I'll just leave that one off and you can, uh, if you're turning it in with pictures, you can just show me that one. Uh, number one and number two on the back uh, would be the other ones for my Risen Christ students. So evens on the front, one and two on the back. Um, and so what you would be looking for um, with this kind of thing is, do we see a marking for a right angle and do we see something that's obviously larger than a right angle? If we don't see either of those, then that means all three of them would be less than a right angle. And again, the argument about whether these are actually the same length or not. Uh, this one looks like it's probably the same length. Again, it's easier for me to kind of compare them 
uh, when it's this shape as opposed to when the uh, tip of this end is pointing down. I have difficulty uh, processing that for some reason. Okay, so uh, going back to our previous lesson with this one, as far as what types of quadrilaterals uh, we would end up having, uh, for number five, if you're doing this problem, um, you can actually just go ahead and like make your shape. Like you don't have to worry about using unit squares or like measuring out equally. Um, just know that what we're multiplying together for this side times this side is going to give us eight in the middle. And then as we go around, we're going to get 12. So even if you don't draw the shape exactly perfect, like we'll figure out if we have four sides and we're working with 12 units, that there's a chance that we might end up um, having, well, actually, no, we won't have a square for that. So um, it will have to be a rectangle. So maybe I did draw the shape correctly. So uh, let's see, number six, that one should be pretty easy. Again, we're counting the shaded part. Uh, compared to the total number of parts. So top number is the shaded parts, bottom number is the total of all of the parts. So that is the lesson for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom. Again, this probably is a longer lesson than it needs to be because I know most of my students are probably able to pick this up pretty quickly. But again, the next time that we do this, this will be uh, about a year from now and we will be doing more and more complicated things and you'll actually have to find the measurements of the angles uh, using some of the information that I was talking about. So I want to make sure that we are as close to able to just jump right into that once the time rolls around. So uh, the homework video for this will be coming out on Tuesday. So have a good day and I will see you tomorrow.